start by getting yourself an old record that you don't listen to anymore or have multiple copies of. Then you'll get yourself a clock movement kit. You can find these in Joann's or Michael's or other craft stores. From the main part, you'll unscrew the front nut and then the nut towards the back. Each one's a little different, but basically there's two nuts on each of them that you'll unscrew. And then you'll just slide off the back washer. So you should have a washer, a big nut, and a little nut. So next you're going to stick the point of the clockworks right through the center hole of the record. If you find that the record hole isn't big enough, just spin a pair of scissors around in it a few times and that will enlarge the hole. And so there's the point sticking right through the hole. You want to make sure that the little hanger on the back is facing upright so that when you hang your record, the words are facing the right direction. So then you put your washer right over the center, and then screw the nut back on. You want to make sure that it's tight to the record. And then you'll just put on your hour hand, and put your minute hand over the top of that. And then just screw on the little nut. And so there's the initial work of the clock. Next you'll paint your numbers onto your clock. You'll start with 12 and 6 and 9 and 3, and then you'll do the other two in between. And you want to make sure that they're all in the same groove of the record so that the minute hand hits them all the same place. Then just stick your battery into the back of the clockworks, and there will be a little dial that you can use to set the time. So just turn that until you have the hands where you want them. And then here we have the finished record clock.